Mrs. Soprano may have passed, but who's to say there isn't another Mrs. Soprano just like her, or will be? Maybe not with the same fears and paranoia, but the same. I mean, what I'm saying is, Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Um. This is such a crock of shit. Carmella. I'm sitting here thinking I should protect my children from the truth about their grandmother on the one hand. On the other, I'm saying to myself, what kind of example am I setting? Evading and smiling, passing out cheese puffs over a woman that we all know was terribly dysfunctional, who spread no cheer at all. Carmilla, be quiet. This is my house. I'm leaving. Let her talk, goddammit. Get down here. No, you. I'll speak if I want. God damn it. who are you? Minister of Propaganda? We suffered for years under the yoke of that woman. Years. She estranged us from our own daughter. Ruined, I don't know how many goddamn Christmases. I don't want to even begin to count. Yeah. No, don't hand me that. Bullshit. You wanted it, you got it. Here, here. From beyond the grave, even. This is a woman who didn't want a funeral. You all, her children, you ignored her wishes. Only after she's dead, by the way. She didn't want a funeral. She didn't want a remembrance of any kind. Why? She didn't think anybody would come. She wouldn't write down her memories for her grandchildren because she figured nobody loved her enough to read them. She knew there was a problem. Um, there's, uh, desserts in the dining room, if anybody wants some. Yes, um, and they're all from Vesuvio, our new pastry chef, Bobby Vasquez. <laughs> 